So you got a new listing, you made a design, you made a postcard, you made a video, but now you need a landing page. Let me help you do that today. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer. And today we're gonna to go over another one of my favorite features, landing pages and command. This has got to be one of the most my, of my favorite things because it is so easy and simple and anyone can do it. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's fast, it's efficient, and it gets the job done and it's quick. And I love anything that's gonna save me time. So let's get right to it. You know the drill, we're gonna go into agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com. And today, we're going to click on the very last icon called the consumer icon. So go ahead and click on that now. And we're going to click on create a new page in the top right. And we're going to click as a landing page and then click on create page. This is going to bring us to our little workspace over here. I'm trying to move my face out of the way. Now, you can name your landing page. I suggest if this is for a listing, you name it the address of the listing. So we're going to name that. So I got mine here. And then on the right hand side, we have a bunch of widgets. The widgets I like to use are a branded header, listing, and, <clears throat> and lead form. So what we're going to do is because it's easier, we're going to build this from the bottom up. So you would just click on the widget that you want, hold the button, drag it to where the green line is on the screen. Can you see the green line? You're going to drag it to where the green line is and then let go of your mouse button. And there you have it. There's my lead form. And the next thing I want is my listing. So I'm going to bring it, put the green line where I want. If I wanted it here, I could go here. But if I want it at the top, bring my green line to the top, let go. So I got my listing and then branded header. I love this. It's simple. It's easy to use. I'm going to click, drag, bring it over, put my green line where I want it and let go. So here's my information. Here's a listing space holder and here's my lead form. So I have that ready. So now this is not my listing. So I want to configure and actually I'm going to put in an actual listing that I used to have so that I can find it. So now I'm going to click over here to this button down here. It says configure widgets, click on configure and your branded header. You can enter text. That's going to go right here. And I'm just going to put whatever I want there that kind of, you know, matches my listing. I'm going to make sure my headshots, right? My name, my number, my email address, and if you have another picture, you can put it there, or if you're on a team, you can put your team logo there. Click save and apply. So that's our first widget. So now we have one that we've done out of three. So we're going to click on this arrow at the top right to go to the listing. We're going to click on browse listings. And we are going to search for our listing. So as you can see, this was my listing. And I'm going to click on select. And command will pull in all the pictures from your listing. You can click on a picture that you want to use of the property and then click save and apply. And that's going to change it to your listing. And then all the information about your listing should pop up instead of a listing from Austin. That's the default. Then you're going to go to your third widget. Interested? Let's talk. I like to change this to get more information or whatever you want. So that's what I'm going to change mine to get more information about this property or want more information. And then I'm going to click save and apply. Want more information? Let's talk. And then there's the um, lead form for that. This is great. I am completely done literally made a landing page for this listing in under five minutes. I'm going to click on publish page. Yes. And now if I click on landing pages, 
you can see this landing page that I just made is right here. I can click on it. Here is the page. It's all made just for me. One thing I want to do though, before I start sending this out, I want to click on the three dots to the right and I want to change the URL. And these last letters, numbers at the end here, you can change to the property address. So I'm going to change mine to the address and then I also put the city. So I'm going to click create. And so now you can see it's custom with the actual address of the property in there as well. And when I click on it, it still takes me to the same exact place and I'm done. I can send this out to the seller. I can link this to my Facebook ads. I can also uh, use this as an open house sign in sheet. Anything that you would ever do for a website for a property, you can use this for. You can make a QR code for this as well. Showed you guys how to do QR codes in a previous video. And you can put this QR code on your open house sign in uh, sheet and then people can sign in and then their address will go directly. Their address and their name will go directly into your database and command. Perfect tool takes less than five minutes to make it and it's all ready for you. Let me know if you use it. Send me your websites, your landing pages. I'd love to see what you create.